My name is Jeremy Moore. We're, we're with Dog Bone. This is a little dog that we, we brought down. She's about a year and four months old. She's really not finished out. We're, we're in the process of finishing her out now. With her, where she is in her training, she's been through the introduction of the antler shape. And we did that using a Dog Bone dummy. We introduced some scent to it. We made sure that that antler was going to be a real positive thing. It was going to be a fun thing for her to get rewards. And ultimately, that's what our shed dog is going to do. No different than when I train pheasant dogs. I don't start them out on live birds. I start them out with a balled up sock in the hallway. I go to canvas bumpers, tape some wings to it, add some scent to it, take steps to get them there. We do the same thing with our shed dogs. And we can only simulate it so well in training. So having the invite down here to Bill's Farm gave us an opportunity to take this little dog and another little dog that we have with us and introduce them to real actual sheds, real drops. The important part about it is training a dog to shed hunt isn't that difficult. Uh, people are intimidated by it. They think it's kind of a specialty thing. It's really not. What it is is you've got to get yourself a system, you've got to get yourself a plan, and then take steps to do it. Dogs learn by incremental training. We take steps to get them there. A couple of, que a couple of questions that we always get, and, and we hear it all the time. We do a lot of seminars, we do a lot of shows, a lot of appearances with the dogs. We get the question a lot, do I have to have a lab? The answer to that's simple, absolutely not. This is not breed specific by any means. I really feel like you gotta buy a dog that fits your style. I like these little dogs, they're English labs. They come from Wild Rose Kennels. Um, they're down in Oxford, Mississippi. Don't have to have a Wild Rose dog in order to have a good shed dog. The reason I like them is they fit my training style. Um, they're a little bit smaller, a little, they're real easy dogs to train. But I know guys who do it with Shepherds, I know guys who do it with Spaniels, Beagles, Pointing Dogs. The thing about it is I think you have a real advantage if you got a sporting dog for simple, for simple reasons, they have a lot of natural traits bred into them that's going to lead to making my life a lot easier when it comes to training. I, I get asked that a lot. I also get asked, do I have to have a puppy to start doing it? Real easy. No. I, I, my first shed dog was eight years old before I trained her to pick up sheds. Now, she was a bird dog, a gun dog. She's 13 now. Um, my first year with her, she picked up 75 sheds. She was a gun dog, and we cross-trained her to start picking up the antler. You don't have to have a pup. I like doing it with pups because they have, they're blank slates. Uh, they don't have a lot of bad habits. The best place probably to get more information on this stuff is probably our website, which is www.dogbonehunter.com. Um, we've got all sorts of resources there. We've got links to Facebook. We, we try to use Facebook as a training resource. Um, we get a lot of frequently asked questions on it. We try to um, answer those there. The other thing that we are really excited about is we just started this thing. It's a, a, you can be a member of the Dog Bone Pack. It's kind of an exclusive thing. It's totally free, and you text you text the word Dog Bone, one word, to 36,000. What it is is we're going to use it as a means of kind of building a network where we can hit everyone up at one time with exclusive offers. We're going to do discounted um, sales on it. We're going to do training tips. It's going to be limited. We're only going to probably do it uh, once, twice a month, but um, it's free and it's just a really good resource. You can get all that information through our website as well. So that's probably the best place would be our, our website, dogbonehunter.com.